This is Times Radio with Hugo Rifkind. Hello, this is Hugo Rifkin with you for a short while longer, up until one. Now we're going to have our travel section. Of course, overseas travel is getting a little bit scary uh, of, of late. With, uh, with, with You go overseas, you have to run away from quarantine, a bit like running away from zombies in a zombie film. So this week, our travel section is offering two potential COVID-era domestic breaks. Uh, and we'll find out, a holiday on, uh, find out about a holiday on the waterways of Britain in a few moments. But first, we're, the, we're with Katie Gatons, the digital travel editor of The Times and The Sunday Times. Hello, Katie. Hi, Hugo. Hi. Thanks for being on. Uh, this weekend, you've written a fairly strong case for holidaying in one particular part of the country. Tell us where. Yes. Uh, last weekend, I actually headed to Jersey for a bank holiday. Um, as, as you said, I, I really wanted to go to France or Spain uh, for, the, for a long weekend, but I was, really wasn't keen on the two-week quarantine at returning to the UK. Mm-hmm. And just with things changing quickly in countries like Italy or Portugal, I just decided I couldn't take that risk. And so to tell us, I've been to Jersey once, I think. I followed, weirdly, I followed the Olympic torch to Jersey. And it didn't oh. spend very long there. I spent a while running around trying to find it. Uh, but um, uh, tell us about a holiday in Jersey. What do you do? Yeah, um, well, you know, it's the closest you can get to France without leaving the country. So it's a, a very good chance there'll be good weather. And it's a, about a 35 minute flight from London. So less than an hour. And, the, you know, once you get there, there's just loads of space, m- the most beautiful beaches. Um, yeah, there's, there's so much to do. Um, what, what, kind of, what are the beyond beaches? We'll come to the beaches in a moment. But beyond beaches, what are the, what are the highlights? Are there, are there cultural highlights? Is the, is the food great? Tell us. Yeah, there's lo- lots of fresh um, sort of fish and seafood. Um, we went to some brilliant um, beach shacks that just, you know, serving up like f- Sri Lankan curries. And, wow. and yeah, it was, it was great. Um, there's, there's also the Jersey Zoo, which is, which is, which is brilliant. And there's uh, the, the Jersey war tunnels that you can visit. They were built during Nazi op- occupation. So if you're into history, you can, you can go there and learn about that as well. And where did you stay? We stayed at two hotels, actually, two very great hotels. One, the Hotel de France, um, which is sort of a villa-style, big white building. And another, the club hotel and spa, which has got a beautiful outdoor pool, um, which is not quite Saint-Tropez, but, you know, it's, mm-hmm. you can't get there very easily at the moment. So oh. it'll do. And what are, the, what are the beaches like? Are they, are they sandy and beautiful or are they a little bit, a little bit British? No, I mean, there's, there's a variety of beaches, actually. So in the north of the island, um, you've got beautiful cliff, cliff-top walks and you can go down uh, into sort of rocky coves where there's sort of crystal clear water for swimming. Um, and there's an, another on the west of the island, uh, which is St. Juan's Beach, which runs for almost five miles uh, down the whole side of the island. And we had a surfing lesson there. It's very flat and sandy. And yeah, just... It looks like something from like in the Caribbean, really. Mm. And is it is it um is it busier than normal in Jersey? Because being so being part of Britain that you can still get to, where you don't need to worry about well, not sort of part of Britain that you don't need to worry about quarantine and all that kind of stuff. Because I mean, you know, people obviously Jersey has, has had a uh, always had a tourism industry, but it has been a bit off the beaten track. And I was wondering if if now it's very much on the beaten track. Well, I was comparing it when I was there, which at Cornwall is beautiful it's great but it's it's just so booked up at the moment even going into september and october you know there's been a lot of press um about how you know locals are you know not keen on Mm. there being so many tourists there jersey just didn't feel overrun at all um there's still availability there's availability at last moment and um in bed and breakfasts in hotels it's it's a lot quieter than usual i think maybe just because you people are a little bit apprehensive about taking a flight there but you sure. can also take a ferry from pool as well great okay well look thank you very much that's katie gatens who has been to jersey uh, speak to you again soon katie that, uh, that's the case for jersey